Hey guys, Adam here, and as some of you may know, iOS 4.0 was never released for the iPad. It was announced to be coming to the iPad, but Apple never officially released it, and it's still not actually released. What I have here is a demo of iOS 4.2 Beta 1. So this is a beta of iOS 4.2, which is going to be the first firmware for the iPad um, 4.0 wise, where we're going where we're going to be getting all the new 4.0 features such as multitasking, app folders. Um, and a lot of that stuff. So I did want to go over it. Um, as you can see here, I do have a few features you can see right off the bat. We do have some app folders, folders over there. We have Game Center. And so let me first off go into multitasking. Multitasking is, of course, what I would consider the biggest feature in iOS 4.0. And it's finally on the iPad. And this is how it's going to be like, pretty similar to on the iPhone. You double click the home. Um, and then you get this multitasking bar. It's a little bit different than on the iPhone. The actual multitasking is the same. So, for example, these apps are multitasking. If I want to end multitasking on one of them, I hold down and click the little minus. And the multitasking is now done. So, there we go. That's the multitasking menu. How it will work on the iPad. You know, identical to on the iPhone slash iPod Touch. But what's a little bit different is that you can scroll to the left, which you can do on the iPhone. But as you can see here, there's a different control here. This is a brightness control. And as you can see right there, it adjusts the brightness on the iPad. We also have the iPod controls and the screen rotation lock. And yes, the screen rotation lock is inside the operating system now. As some of you may know, there's a physical screen rotation lock on the iPad. And, well, there was. On iOS 4.2, this is gone. And as you can see right here, let me switch the lock. And it's now a silent switch like on the iPhone. So we do not have a physical screen rotation lock. I really did wish that we have an option there. Personally, like there's already this control right here. You hold down the volume for like two seconds and it mutes it. I really don't see too much um, of a point of actually switching the screen rotation lock and putting it software and the software and the multitasking bar. So just a note there. Um, another cool feature is app folders on 4.0. Uh, well, of course, this is 4.2. It's finally on the iPad. So here's an app folder, for example. I'm sure most of you have seen this. Um, basically, if you haven't, you can drag an icon over another one. So dragged Game Center over Field Runners, and it made a category for games. So next off, I do want to go into Game Center. This is a new feature in iOS 4.1 for the iPhone, and now it's on iOS 4.2. Basically, I'm sure most most of you have seen Game Center. Uh, you can join. I have a username, which is Adam. Feel free to add me. But anyways, this is how Game Center will look like on the iPad. Um, it says, Welcome to Game Center. Then you have a different assortment of different games. You can actually click on these. Um, so if you want, you can click on them and check some of the games out. These are Game Center supported games that Apple apparently likes. We do have Friends, which is uh, similar to on the iPhone, except... Uh, of course, the iPad screen is much larger, so Apple has your friends on the side. And if you click on one, for example, here's on German, then you do get the person's name, their their status, friends, games, achievements, their games. You can unfriend them and report a problem. You do have the games tab, which is the same as on the iPhone. Um, so there we go. That's Game Center. Um, there's one more tab, requests, where you can add people and get friend requests. So next up, I do want to go over another really cool feature in iOS 4.2. Uh, this is a feature that you can actually print. So on your iPad, you can now print, which is definitely really cool. At the moment, I'm not going to be able to demo it because, number one, you need the beta version of Snow Leopard 10.6.5 beta. And also you need to have a HPE print printer, which I do not own. Um, but for example, I do go to a web page. Uh, we'll go to, I don't know, google.com. And we can click up here. And you can click print. And you can select your printer, the copies, and then click print. Really simple right there. By the way, this is called AirPrint. Apple gave a name to their printing. You know, not a big deal there. But just in case you were wondering, the next thing I want to go over is AirPlay. AirPlay is a main new feature in 4.2 specifically. Uh, basically, you can stream photos, videos, and all that um, from your iPad to your Apple TV, which, of course, is the new release of the Apple TV. That's going to be a cool new feature. And you can also stream from your computer to your iPad. So definitely going to be really cool there. Unfortunately, it's only on a select number of people's betas for 4.2, and at the moment, I'm not going to be able to actually use it. Now, there's a few other various changes to iOS 4.2 for the iPad. Um, one thing, 
I will show you is in Safari, something I'm really excited about and I think I'm definitely going to be using this a lot, which I do use on my laptop a lot, is the find feature. So for example, um, you're on a web page, let's type in, um, we'll go on, I don't know, Engadget.com, click that right there. And for example, you want to find an article about the iPad. Um, so, for example, you know on your computer you can click Control F or uh, Command F and you will be brought to a menu where you can type in a word that you want to be able to have highlighted on the page. This is now on the iPad through the Google search bar. Kind of strange, but for example, I type in iPad and down here on this page, six matches, you can click Find iPad and it will find the matches of the word iPad. Um, so here's an article about the Sam Samsung Galaxy Tab, and it says iPad right there. Now the final thing I want to show in this demo is something very minor. If you do go into settings and let that load and then scroll down to notes, you will actually have different options for your font. A lot of people hated the marker felt font on the iPad, and now you have two other options, chalkboard and Helvetica. But there we go guys, that is my demo of iOS 4.2 on the iPad. Hopefully this video was not too long for you, but I do hope it helped you and showed you the new features in iOS 4.2 that are, that are going to be coming up soon. iOS 4.2 is coming out to the public in November, and when it does come out, I will definitely post a final demo because Apple does tend to update the firmwares and the betas since of course this is only beta 1. But there we go guys, thanks a lot for watching.